All right? Here's another example. Oh, this is really big. Use technical decisions of the courts to weaken basic American institutions by claiming their activities violate civil rights. Mm. So in other words, what they're trying to say is that we're going to use our Supreme Court, our federal courts, our appellate courts, our jurisdictional courts, our state courts to make sure that if you want to do anything that has a moral consciousness to it, we're going to make sure that that institution would appear to violate civil rights. And I, well, basically what they're trying to say, we want the civil rights of the damned to trump the civil rights of purity. So that's what they're saying. Yeah, first amendment. And here's another one of their mission statements and objectives. It says, get control of the schools. Mm -hmm. Use them as transmission belts Done. for socialism yeah. Yeah. and yeah. current propaganda. Mm -hmm. Soften the curriculum. Mm -hmm. Get control of teachers' associations. Mm -hmm. Put the party line in textbooks. Another one of their uh, points is so many good things here, so you can understand what we're fighting against. In verse, in, not verse 20, but one, their, another point they have is to infiltrate the press. Get control of book review assignments, editorial writing, policy making positions. So everybody running after some elected official position, you will look, they look so good on the outside, they're for the public unity and public good, but they are there to get control, to push an agenda of secularism. Another one is gain control, let me say this, gain control of key positions of radio, TV, and motion pictures. Come on, Pastor Charpe. Well, I just wanted to say quickly that they understand their doctrine. Come on. They understand their doctrine and their loyalty. Yeah. Yeah. They understand their mission. Yeah. Yeah. Christians argue about their doctrine. Yeah. Christians argue with each other about their doctrine. Don't, yeah, don't. Christians don't even know the basic <laughs> doctrine this is true. This of true. what the Lord has said. Right. And they have been working this and working it yeah. and working it. This is how you can have a mayor that thankfully she has been booted out. <laughs> but this is how you can have a mayor Five that times. begins to subpoena pastors and say, I want to see your sermons. Right. Forcibly. Because they've been working in yeah. yeah. agenda. Mm -hmm. They've gotten into certain yeah. positions mm -hmm. where they can begin to enforce certain things. But then you have Christians who say that this isn't our realm. We shouldn't go into these areas. We have people yeah. that preach who, that. Who mm -hmm. And I'm like, well, well who is <laughs> Esther? Who is Daniel? Right. Who was Nehemiah? Who had the king's ear? Yeah. What if Esther had not been there yeah. to yeah. write a law that counteracted genocide? Yeah. Why yeah. don't we have people writing laws to counteract the current genocide of 3,000 babies yeah. a day? Yeah. 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 Yes. Yes. Counteracting yeah. genocide. Yes. Yeah. So we have to understand the agenda. I mean, we we know we yeah. don't have, we're not queuing the organ and praise dancing and bucking. But the reality is, we are praying that the teachers will arise in the body of Christ. The teachers will arise in the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. That we will begin to go back to helping the body understand what it is that we're up against. Mm -hmm. So, just want to share. I'm going to try to close this out because i got so much more, but I'm not, I want to give you some good points here. Another <laughs> aspect of it is to discredit artistic expression mm -hmm. and putting substitute with, with in, in shapeless, awkward, and meaningless forms. In other words, erecting statues of Baal, 
while taking down Ten Commandments. Mm -hmm. Okay? All right? Eliminating laws governing obscenity mm -hmm. and calling them censorship and a violation of free speech and press. Mm -hmm. One day I was watching TV. I mean, I don't watch, we haven't watched TV for years, like for like 20 years or so. But there, there, there was, you know, I was at some of my friend's house and I was watching the TV and I heard the different words coming out of just basic uh, television. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just big, it sounded worse than a sailor's locker room. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't believe it. Little Even kids. The news. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm like, all the A words and the S words and yeah. the B words and all that stuff. I'm like, what? Yeah. It's free now. It's okay. But you're going to love this one here. Present homosexuality, degeneracy, and pro promiscuity as normal, natural, and healthy. They've been working this for years. They want it normal, natural, and healthy. But notice the notice the wording that they also know what it actually is. Right. It right. says present it as. Yeah. As. Yeah, yeah. Normal, natural, healthy. Who was the biggest cheerleader of this normal, natural, healthy uh, cover up of the most violent of behavior on earth? We have our American, American poets. All right? And you're going to love this one. Get, hold on to your seats. Put on your seatbelts. Get your tissue. Stabilize your knees. Because this is where it's going to hurt. Infiltrate the churches and replace revealed religion with social religion. Discredit the Bible and emphasize the need for intellectual maturity, which does not need a religious crutch. Uh, we need to evolve in our thinking. So in other words, we need to evolve in our thinking. That's what Oprah says. Uh, so we have, mm -hmm. me, we have mega social centers, mm -hmm. not mega churches not today. Mega churches. Right. Right. Because anything that comes in there mm -hmm. and supports the vision overall, yeah. as long as you have a watered down, yeah. lifeless, yeah. spiritless, mm -hmm. intellectual mumbo jumbo, you're welcome. No deliverance. No change. No God. Just emotion and antics, according to Aristotle. And we already see this one happen. Eliminate prayer for any phase of religious expression in the schools, on the ground, that it violates this principle of separation of church and state. So, in other words, it, and that's an oxymoron. So in other words, we have to close our mouths on everything regarding Christ because we're in a public place, yeah. but yet you can come to our churches and tell us to stop talking about certain activities. Yeah. Yeah. You a dead dog, damn liar. Amen. Yeah. That's what the scripture calls you, okay? Not a dead dog, but damnation, damnable heresies is what the scripture says. They bring in damnable heresies. Damnable means hell baked, hell baked, hell cloaked, hell directed. Evil. Yeah. Evil. Yeah. So look at this. Oh, and here's an, oh, you're going to love this one. There's another one that's important. And know that Satan is after the seed. It says, emphasize the need to raise children away from from the negative influence of parents. Attribute prejudices, mental blocks, retarding of children to suppressive influence of parents. Last one before I even go on, and I'll close this out with a scripture and we'll go from there. It says to create the impression that violence and insurrection are legitimate aspects of American tradition. That students and special interest groups should rise up and use united, united force to solve economic, political, or social problems. Mm -hmm. So all these marches, what's all this marching? All these marches ain't nothing happening. 
Yeah. We got 10,000 marches yeah. Yeah. and no change. Yeah. It's all a spin of humanism. One professor told me, to, he says intellectual M. He used the intellectual M. I don't, I'm not going to say that word. It's an M word. But it's intellectual M. Shun. And so what happens, we like to hear what we think and sound good and sound eloquent, intellectual, you know, perversions. So we sound so great and we are our own people, so we don't need no God. So here is the last scripture I'm going to read, and we're going to close out for the day. And we're going to, and we're going to pray, we're going to have, we're going to pray about these things that we don't be deceived. So look at this here. This is verse John, chapter 2, verse 18 to 20. I know it was long today, praise God. 1 John 2, 18 to 21 says, Dear children, and as I say today, dear saints of God, the last hour is here. Mm -hmm. You have heard that the Antichrist is coming, and already may such Antichrist have appeared. For this we know that the last hour has come. These people left our churches. Antichrist. They left the churches. They left the churches. They left the churches. So who is sitting in the churches? The Antichrist. Spirit. Because they left the churches. But they never really belonged with us. Otherwise, they would have stayed with us. When they left, it proved they did not belong unto us, the kingdom of God. But you are not like that. Point at your neighbor and say, you are not like that. You, you are not like that. For the Holy One has given you His Spirit, Amen. and all of you know the truth. Amen. So I'm writing you not because you don't know the truth, because you know the difference between truth and lies. So that ends up. I pray you got some. Know the difference between truth and lies and hold the truth.